All new tonight here on the night team. After more than 60 years of service, Pruitt's Automotive in St. Matthews is closing its doors. And with it will go the last full-time gas station left in Louisville. WHS 11 Night Team's Connor Steffen with photojournalist Addie Hill spoke with the Pruitts about the decision and the decades-long le legacy they are leaving behind. Pulling up to a Pruitt's gas pump. And you feel like you're in the 50s. It's like traveling into the past. They'll clean your windows, air up your tires. I mean, couldn't ask for nothing better. You're greeted with a smile and won't find any digital screens or detached convenience store. Pruitt staff will make you coffee themselves in this Keurig and bring it out to you free of charge. As industries change, you have to decide at some point what business you want to be in. Owner Rocky Pruitt's business isn't about branding or product placement. This whole thing's built on relationships. Just good old fashioned service with a smile. We know the vast majority of our customers by name. Um, we know their cars. We know their moms and dads, their children, their grandchildren. It's why these thank you cards now line his desk and what makes this next week so hard. No small amount of fret and worry and angst went into this decision. On October 13th, the last full service gas station in Louisville will close and the Pruitt's name will leave a St. Matthew street corner it's occupied since the 1960s. That's the hardest part about making the decision to sell. These pumps here at Pruitt's installed back in the 1980s will keep going until they run out of gas, likely sometime next week. The auto shop will shut down Friday before the company buying it comes in Monday to auction off decades of family history. Rocky isn't sure what new business will open here. All he knows is how he wants Pruitt's passed down from his father to his brother and now him to be remembered. I want to be the last great service station and it be synonymous with service and integrity. Sixty plus years of service that will live on long after the pumps run dry. I hope you have a good night. And St. Matthew's Connor Steffen, the WHAS 11 night team on your side. Well, I can say this about integrity. You heard uh, Rocky say it. We have interviewed him for decades on this TV station. And at WHAS 11, we are really going to miss Pruitts. Pruitts said the company buying his family owned business is called Axis Investments LLC. They, by the way, own gas stations in Louisville, including Valero and Marathon. They could not be reached for comment tonight.